I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a post for Hannibal's uh, Stoy Pukile series. You'll have to give my attire. However, it is freaking freezing this morning. Uh, I'm laid up. Anyway, uh, three questions. One, has Western society got a reduced attention span? Two, do we give too much credit to the alter uh, personalities in alternative media and alternative research communities? Three, uh, do we give too too much credit to many so too many so-called uh, intellectuals? Okay, first and foremost, <clears throat> as far as intention span goes, that is not our fault. Well, I mean, it, it is partially. However, it is not totally our fault. The educational system we're in uh, that was standardized courtesy worldwide, courtesy of UNESCO, and uh, developed prior to that by uh, the Prussian model. Uh, and a few other people, uh, the Rockefellers were in there, Natch. Anyway, John Taylor Gatto will go into more of the history if you want to look up his stuff with uh, Tragedy and Hope. And yes, every segment video goes in, has a bibliography in the description bar. They also take donations, uh, thank you. And yeah, they'll probably give me a pat on the head or something for uh, giving a word here. It's all, school isn't just about learning. You can learn most of that stuff really fast and you wouldn't even need to do so many hours in the classroom to do it. Uh, as far as the three hours go, reading, writing, and arithmetic. No, trust me, when I say this, school conditions you to fear and have painful associations with the processes of sitting down, reading, and fact-checking because any time you get anything wrong, you get either a literal or verbal or metaphorical rap over the knuckles. Uh, and the worst thing in, in uh, science is to be wrong. Uh, it's an unreasonable standard, actually, that's given to intellectuals later on in their careers and lives when they're told that if, they, that if anything related to their significant work that qualified them to get a pension or a retirement package or tenure or funding for the current project uh, is proven to be invalid or wrong or just criticized or not or reconsidered to not have enough uh, evidence behind it everything they have is taken away from them it's not any education isn't about learning the principles of learning you know showing your sources backing it up um, yeah, so in that situation, that's where you get the phrase science advances by funerals. So trust me when I say this. Kids are not from the age from you're what, five, six years old when you start primary school? What do you expect? There's no allowance to be wrong. You have to you're competing all the time against your fellow students. What, what gives? So, yeah, of course people have got a short attention span. They want to get away from the nasty, nasty books that make them feel bad. It's not rocket science. Rocket surgery. That's what it is. So, do we give too much credit to uh, people from the alternative research community? I would have to say you'd have to do it on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, Hutchison comes across as a fruitcake, even though he might have some good research. Uh, bad presentation, good guy. Oh, seemingly good guy. Uh, the no planers come across as uh, half baked. Some might have one or two points that are right, however, uh, they have, yeah there isn't enough science backing them up. You know, there's researchers like Feminist Whore and Divinity 33372 <clears throat> here on YouTube that do sex positive research and technically that's not main, you know, the mainstream isn't covering it so it counts as alternative. Then you get uh, people like uh, some of the anti-porn feminists who go in there and, you know, give you just bad info. Those are dirty little terms some people use for it, and the polite term is bad info. So, case-by-case case basis.
And to its credit, Jan, Jan Irvin um, has gotten into what is known as the truth movement uh, <clears throat> and has been yelling about the uh, trivium, logic, grammar, and rhetoric and critical thinking uh, for the last year, year and a half or so. So good on him, and he really is having an effect. Because if you want uh, these shows um, to have better quality of guests and be more discerning in who it allows onto the airwaves, TV, internet, um, on these well-oiled machines of publicity. Uh, you don't need the hosts to be better. You need, uh, or the programmers, you need to educate your audience. And that is something Yan Irving is doing. So case by case. Now, do we have too many so-called intellectuals giving out bad or poorly researched info, uh, info <coughs> or concocting bad studies. Yes, yes, yes. How many times have I seen Jordan Owen 42 lay into the anti-porn anti crowd? How many times? Every time. You know why? Because they're just plain wrong. Gail, he went through, he deconstructed porn land. Um, Gail Dines' big recent book and that she was promoting when she was last out here in Australia. Three sources of she she she's like oh, I got thirty years of research yeah and almost none of it agrees that porn is harmful some of it is uh, a little ambivalent on the topic and the rest of it just says and there's like two three sources uh, she sites that actually agree with her of all the site uh, sources in her uh, bibliography it's counting on the fact that most people don't have the time or inclination or the knowledge of how to look up these sources um, to that, you know, people are just going to say, well, she cited a lot of sources. She couldn't be wrong then. Well, yeah, she could. Yeah, she apparently was. So, yeah. There is, and to be honest with you, mate, there are, there's a lot of uh, established intellectuals who could stand, who could probably go a couple rounds sparring on their basic ideas uh, which would probably make them stronger. Um, you know, and once every so often they would crack. That's how science, that's how a theory works in science, you know, the theory of gravity. So you've got a better theory that takes precedence. It's king of the mountain. You're on top until you're brought down. And that's, for the ideas, that's fine. I still don't think it's a way to treat intellectuals. However, that's really how it goes. So, <sighs> intellectual rigor... I reckon Yan Irving's got the answer to your uh, real question here, which is, what's it going to take to get people interested in being smart again? And the answer is, you got to educate, you got to empower, show people that it's uh, a positive thing to be intellectually empowered, because it, and show them how it relates to the things that people hold important here, not just here. You can be interested in many subjects, yet the subjects that make you feel, have an emotional connection. When you can align your heart and your mind, the body will follow. Anyway, I hope this has given you a lot to think about. And you know that I'm not saying the heart has significant amounts of brain power, though it does have grey matter cells in there that is a proven fact. Anyway, mate, I hope this has been a good first video. I even took notes. I'll talk to you later, because I'm Ozzy Griffin. <laughs>